I'm Jenny. I'm joined today by Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Hey there. And today we're talking about some reasons for studying CAT. Now, the first question I want to ask Dylan is, what sort of benefits do you think CAT learners have in their future studies? I think there are a lot of benefits. Um, and let's, let's start by talking about research and the ability to research and find information, particularly on the internet. That's a, that's a really key skill in many fields of further study. Mm -hmm. um, they uh, it tend to expect you to go and, and find stuff out for yourself. You, you, you're not spoon-fed as much as perhaps mm. you are at school. So the ability for you to use the internet um, and technologies like it to go and find information, to research for yourself, I think is really, really crucial. Um, I'd say another really important aspect of, of, of computer skills in studying is your ability to present the information, to, pre to present what you've learned, whether that's in the form of a, of a formal presentation, perhaps through PowerPoint or other presentation technologies, or whether it's in the form of a report or written assignment. Mm. The more computer skills you have, the word processing, Photoshop, PowerPoint, those kinds of things, the better your presentations will look and the less time they'll take It'll you. Take. Um, mm. I, I remember when I when I was studying at university and technology was just kind of starting to make its entrance as a as a, a, a major force um, in first year writing some of my assignments on a typewriter because I didn't have a computer mm, there's a thing there's a thing yeah and the amount of time it took me to write this report on a typewriter that I could have saved if I'd written it on a computer mm. and had all the added benefits that a computer and word processing gives mm. to you. Um, I, I think there's another really important aspect in terms of, of data and managing and collecting and analyzing data. In many fields of study, um, and certainly the field of study that, that I was involved in, math, science, but it's equally true in commerce, law, um, the expectation is there for you to be able to collect and manipulate and analyze data mm. and draw your own conclusions mm. from what the information and data is telling you. And so familiarity with uh, Excel and, and other spreadsheet type applications, yes. really, really important. Mm. And, and not just how to format the spreadsheet, but, but going deeper, how to manipulate the mathematical equations behind that, how to derive the, the if and and statements, mm. all really, really mm. important mm. for being able to draw that information out. And, and then I think in terms of, of softer skills, um, if you're comfortable with using technology to network with other people, to talk, to collaborate with other people, I think that's a really useful benefit. Um, in, in, in many cases, you're going to learn an awful lot from people that you may have never met, but that are studying similar fields to you in other parts of the world. And being able to connect with them, to find them, and to connect with them, I think is, is really important. And to draw from this kind of global community of expertise and, and knowledge. Yeah, and of course that didn't really happen um, in times gone by. No. That happened if you, if you were fortunate enough to go and attend a conference yeah. where there were um, overseas representatives. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. And, and, I, and I think... Um, there is an expectation, particularly at, at university level. Mm. You're, a, you're a big boy or big girl now, so you need to go and start creating your own value. You need to go and start finding the people that you think can help you solve the problems mm. that you need to solve. And networking is just an incredibly important skill in that. Mm. And then I think finally, um, uh, the ability to communicate through various means is, is absolutely essential. Um, in many cases, your lecturer, your mentor, your tutors are not going to be available to you face-to-face -face and in person. Mm. And so you have to be able to communicate with them electronically in order for, the, for you to be able to access the kind of help that you need. Um, and I, I suppose more and more, uh, lecturers are, are expecting you to submit work electronically, to be able to submit documents elect electronically. And if, and if mm. you don't know how to do that, you're at a significant disadvantage. So I think people that have studied CAT and have all these skills, um, both the hard skills as well as the soft skills, are going to walk into that study environment just leaps ahead 
of, of those students that are suddenly all new to, to this? So CAT learners, communication between the student in university or a technical college and the lecturer will be important, apart from all the other things mm. that Dylan has told us about. And I think there's time to brush up on your netty kit that you always groan about. Mm. But now I'm going to ask Dylan to take some of the skills that CAT learners acquire in their studies and talk to us about how they can use those in their future careers. Well, that's a, that's a really big question and that possibly has an answer of many hours long. But to kind of get down to the, to the nitty gritty, an increasing number of jobs are in the knowledge, so-called knowledge economy. Mm. Uh, and even those jobs that are in the agricultural or manufacturing parts of, of the economy require some level of computer literacy, some level of computer skill. But for most of us, we're going to land up in the knowledge economy, which is based, it's built on computers and on computer technology. So, so really the short answer to, to that question is, mm -hmm. it's fundamental. You, you just can't even start being productive in the modern workplace without being very familiar and very comfortable with an initial set of computer and, and, and computer technologies, but I think also being comfortable with the process of learning new skills, learning yes. new programs, learning, learning new ways of, of doing things. And in the CAT curriculum at school, you, you're taught a, a lot of those skills. You're not just taught how to do X, Y, and Z, but you're also taught how to learn how to do A, B, and C. And that is probably one of the most crucial skills, not just learning or not just knowing how to do the basics, but learning how to expand your repertoire of, of skills. Okay. Thank you, Dylan. Pleasure. And that will be all for today. Thank you for joining us.